hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'll be taking you guys along and showing you what types of street food you can get here in Oweri Nigeria please if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed go right ahead and subscribe and let's get into it the idea of this video is to drive around Oweri and see if and see what types of street food we can find so our first stop is roasted yam and roasted plantain which is called bole with roasted fish. Um, zodi, zodi. We got some plantain naji. Um, I don't know how you sell but Plant just uh, plantain naji when plantain uh, 200. Then jiggy, do you say how do you sell 100, 200? Yeah. Okay, we could kind of let me have a uh, plantain. Okay, 200 then yeah okay 100 as we get it they're going 100 now 200 as we get 100 the roasted yam and plantain can either be eaten on its own or eaten with beans which is what I believe you guys call black eyed peas so here she's just um, plating everything the yam the plantain the fish she added some vegetables some salt some pepper and some sauce this meal cost me 400 naira which is about a dollar or something like that so there's the plantain there's um yam there's um onions and um, what's it called pepper she put some salt and stuff like that so um we're just going to go ahead and try we're going to try one piece of yam so you dip it in the sauce like that maybe grab some onions as well and then eat guys fun fact yam is not so expensive so yeah, I'm talking my mouth full but new yam is about to start new yam is like a festival in, in the eastern part of Nigeria so you don't eat new yam until they have celebrated the new yam festival so now we're eating old yam from last year and it's you know freaking expensive anyways we're going to try the plantain now mm. and then i'll just have a taste of the fish if you know what yam tastes like yam is like um, sweet potatoes but it's not as sweet as sweet potatoes and then there's plantain which is like bananas and then of course you guys know what fish is and the bitter stuff i think it's i don't know whether it's uziza or tazi but it just gives the food that extra kick is bitter but not that bitter that you cannot stomach it anyway it was nice now we're going to look for another food to buy next stop is another street food delicacy known in Igbo language as oka auntie assuming this size now how much did you get this size go in okay car 100 what of this size 100 as well I prefer to eat roasted corn with coconut but she explained to me that her coconut was exhausted so I had to buy pear. I bought the corn 100 naira and I bought the pear 50 naira so everything cost me 150 naira. So typically how long does it take this corn to, assuming you are roasting, how long does it take the corn to finish? Yes, five minutes. Five minutes. All right, so guys, this is the corn and the pear. In um, Igbo language, we call it oka nube. Now, pear is not really my um, seeds. I prefer to eat um, corn with um, coconut. Um, but uh, today, we're just going to try pear. I don't know how to explain pear. Pear is like this type of pear. I don't know. Native pear, I guess. It's like the smaller version of avocado, but you can't. You have to kind of either boil it or um, roast it to get it soft. Then the corn is like your regular corn, but not like your sweet corn that you guys have. This one is more like native and it's very um, organic. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Anyways, the only thing I don't like about corn and pear is that they serve it in old newspaper. Like this newspaper now is <laughs> July 31st. Oh, actually, 2019. I'm just gonna take a bite. Hmm. Too hot. And pear. So you kind of have to eat, mix it together in your mouth. Like, you know. So that's what the inside looks like. Mmm. 
It's been long I had corn up here, guys. I kid you not, but I like corn. Roasted. So, I don't know if you guys can tell from the weather, but it's about to rain and um, we are around the market area because that's where you get to see a lot of these um, street foods and stuff like that. So, my video is kind of messed up. So, due to the weather, we couldn't really have a chat with most of the vendors and you know everything was kind of chaotic and we just had to buy as we were driving along and stuff like that Okay, then when you cut it, you remove the feather and then fry it. Oh, wow. So, how do you sell? This one is 200. 300. 100. 100. And today, also, it's 900. I bought the 100 Nara portion, which she garnished with onions, pepper, and butter. The most exciting thing we're trying to do. <laughs> Guys, is this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna um, take. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> I can see the eyes, guys. I kid you not. Like, you see, the eyes are there. The oh god, this is like full on ants, guys. <laughs> I think it's just the psychology of eating a bug. Eating a bug, like it's. So, nope. Do you have to try? Yeah, yes. no. no. Okay, let me, guys. Let me try with onions and pepper and the leaf and everything. Let me take like a handful. <laughs> I'm already eating it. Like, nah, this is nasty. Onions is actually nice, though. like it's like eating like crayfish and onions and pepper, like spiced. And okay, I see why people like it, but this is, I don't think it's something I'm going to buy again. So <laughs> try it. No, you have to try it eventually. Well, never, there will never be a circumstance where I'll have to try be it. Be adventurous with food. The next street food we tried was all back. <laughs> so this is um guys this is opa so they usually just do it like they do like moi moi or what okay. what's moi moi like a pudding or so we're just gonna go ahead and try this um i think this was 100 naira i don't know if you guys can see the pepper and stuff inside i've had this before so you know It's tastier, but it's not as tasty as the ones we get in Enugu. In case you guys don't know, my mom is from Enugu, so and I think that's where Opa originates from, or something like that. But yeah, normal people have this usually with like coke or you know, a kind of drink like in the afternoon and stuff like that. Next food is the famous abacha, also known as African salad. Abacha is my favorite street food. It is usually garnished with onions, pepper, butter's leaf. Then you could also garnish with meat, with fish, with crayfish, basically any delicious protein you could think about. Abacha is pretty delicious. It's like it's one of the staples. It's also from Enugu State. That, I think that's where they eat it um, predominantly. And um, yeah, we're just going to go in. Abacha, as an abacha is big. Abacha is always abacha. Mm. 
Mm. And they're not. What is this man putting there, but uh, making it taste like this? I don't think. Um, um, the emo people don't know how to do it. My mother makes a bacha for you. And you bow. I don't think emo people know how to make a bacha. Guys, I'm just trying to get um, some fish as well. You kind of have to mix it up in your mouth, you know, to get like a feel of what it actually is. <laughs> The next street food I decided to try was agidi with pepper soup. Agidi is made from corn flour and can be eaten with any type of soup. But here on the streets of Bowery, it is typically eaten with pepper soup. So I don't know, I think this is made from corn, it's like congealed pap. I don't know if, for those that don't know what pap is, pap is like corn, corn starch now. It's made from corn and stuff like that so they cook it and make it into a meal like that and they pack it in this leaf and then you eat it with pepper soup guys she put the pepper soup inside um, the nylon bag <laughs> because that's the way they sell it if you want to eat it on the spot you know they have like plates and things like that but if you don't they'll, they'll put it in the bag for you so i'm now using the plate from my yam to eat the pepper soup so that it's not so messy so the pepper soup has like I saw her putting like kidney and stuff like that I think this is intestine mm -hmm. so we're just going to go right ahead and uh, taste it mm. it's actually tasty but it's not that peppery I was expecting more spice than my stuff so anyway I remember my parents used to eat agidi, but I've never really been a fan of agidi because I think it's just weird. It tastes like like semolina or something like that. So it is what it is. It's just like eating um, a pepper soup and some kind of swallow. Nothing too fancy or special. But it's tasty. Like I can I can see myself eating this. If I am like hungry and I'm out of, out of the house and stuff like that. Guys, this is also agidi, but it is called agidi jollof and it is prepared differently from the previous one. One day I overheard a woman saying that they cook it with bone. So they go and buy like the bone, the, like the big bones with the bone marrow and then they cook it with spices and oil and pepper and stuff like that. So I've never tried this before. So yeah, let's dig in. Ah, it's bone then. Hmm. See bone. Yeah, that thing that's the the joints or something. Um. Hmm. A special taste. I don't know why people like this fish. I don't. It's not nice. Um. Anyway, that's a giddy for you. It's just weird. Like it's not something. Soft. I think it's an acquired taste. It's not something that I would um like easily like readily go for nah not a fan mm -mm. last but not the least is ngwongwo which is also known as kanda or boma this is boma aka cowhide so um they usually make it with um they but they get the cowhide they wash it i suppose <laughs> and then they Make it with palm oil and the uh, leaf and onions and pepper and stuff like that. So I'm just going to eat one. I mean, I'm used to eating this, so it's not I'm not going to be disgusted by it or anything like that. I actually like it. Mm. And then guys, onions like you can never go wrong with onions. That was good really good guys that is it this was um i mean if it wasn't raining it would have been a whole different experience but i was still able to get one or two things um to show you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel why 
what planet are you from why why won't you just subscribe to my channel anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>